You have lost. The circle is complete. Ah! No, Bella, no! <laughs> the Nidus, source of all my powers, has split into five parts. Bella will be seeking the pieces too. We must find them before she does. You will see them only in reflection. That is your task, your quest. You, Helen, will be entrusted with them. Each piece will form a chain about your neck. Find the five pieces of the Nidus. Bring them to me. Look at this! No time for that, Helen. We've got the five pieces of Nidus to find. Rothko must be around here somewhere, in some form or other. Yes, I know. I just wonder what time we'd arrived in. It's nice having proper clothes. Tudor or Jacobean? I mean, it's difficult to tell. Phil, what's this? All good men and true, I think. Ye for foreign king, if, if is dead. I can't get that. Favourites who f f serve him. Rally to the true religion. The last bit's torn off. Does it make sense to you? No, but it means we're in England. I wonder which true religion it is. And which king is dead? Come on. Now we have to make a decision which way to go. Oh, what was that? It's a bat. Where is it? It's gone now. It was horrible. It grabbed at my hair. We can't worry about that. Look, I think we're going to have to split up. What happens if we get lost? Just be careful. Don't go too far and retrace your steps. Five minutes, then. All right. Your infant warriors are separated now. You heed my words. These tunnels are unsafe. But you are here. What have I to fear? But I cannot protect you from falling roofs. These vaults have stood as long as there has been an English throne. I do not fear for collapse. Not in the sense you mean. Your Majesty, it is not too late for you to retire from your promise. Commander, you have your orders. Sir. It is well. Away from this place. Be not within earshot. I have made my... Promise. I shall remain within hearing only if you shout, and then I shall come. And with my men. Oui, oui. Your Majesty, it is I, Fox. You may approach, Fox.
As you see, I have agreed to your requests. Extraordinary though they were. Not without good cause, sire. Aye, in spite of all the advice of my ministers, in spite of all my own self-counsels, in spite of all that speaks plain sense, I've come to these vile dungeons to meet you. Your explanation had better be swift and plausible withal. Sire, you are my sovereign. For you I would gladly fight and willingly die. There is no cause be more brief, worthy. man. Of What's your business? For you, sire, I am as naught. I style myself gentleman and adventurer, Guido Fox. to do business with the king. I come with priceless information, sire, modestly offered. I beg you listen, nay, I insist. Insist? A sovereign may not be ordered. Uh, my apologies, sire, it was in my eagerness to warn you and in the same breath offer you a scheme whereby to improve your popularity with the populace. You speak as if I were not popular already. Well, Impedance! Sir. I have agreed to meet you, that is all. And I am honoured beyond my station, sire. Uh, presumably, there is a price I am expected to pay. Not a price, Your Majesty. I merely ask that the uh, reward be my own life, now at risk, since I come to warn of a plot against you. Ach, a plot. There are always plots. Some more deadly than others. But who would plot against me? Do I not rule with mercy, with favour to all? Of course, Your Majesty. Would that your subjects showed more gratitude. That is why your life must be preserved. I come to warn of a deadly plot against you. One which seeks to destroy your family, your chosen advisers, all you trust and love, as well as your royal personage. Name the ringleader, or I'll have your neck. Catesby, Robert Catesby. Ah, Catesby. I know the man. And others. Uh, there are others, sire. Uh, um, amongst them, uh, myself. Your honesty is a virtue, for, and for it you shall die. If that be your wish, I am at your mercy. And yet, sire, if I save your life, I ask only that mine be spared. No compacts. A king does not bargain with a serf. It suppose there were a plot? Your Majesty, you hesitate. Yet think what I offer you. A king whose very benevolence is threatened by conspirators. In the nick of time, the plot is discovered. The bells ring, the crowds throng the streets. The king is saved. Long live the king! Tell me what you know, Fox. You will be treated justly. On the morrow, sire. Uh, the fifth day of November, as you sit at the opening of Parliament, a mighty explosion will devastate the palace of Westminster. Speak more, man. The gunpowder is placed, and tonight Catesby brings the final keg. With dry powder, fresh fuses, that keg cannot fail to set off the rest. More than a ton of powder lies concealed within these very vaults. The plan is complete. I will have the vault searched. Nay, sire, wait a while. Wait for Catesby. Let your guards take him on the morrow in the very act of this felonious deed. Good man, Fox. Good man indeed. You have your compact, and you will be given what you deserve. Catesby will hang, and you will go down in history. I am your servant, sire. <laughs> Is this why you come to the cellars? To conspire with conspirators? Aye, but no, there's more than one conspiracy. I do not trust that man, Guy Fawkes. But it is he that will assure us this throne. The throne is yours already. And with me behind you, you could be the most powerful king who ever lived. Aye, but we still need the hearts of the people. And we shall win them. Such will be the horror of this infamous plot of gunpowder. I say it still, you cannot trust Fawkes. But I have given my word. He will be treated justly. Oh, we can't 
been out this way either. What are we going to do? We'll have to retrace our steps, like Phil said. But, but we've done that. That's how we got here. Then we'll have to do it again, won't we? <laughs> Rothko, isn't it? Guy Fawkes to you, boy. Rothko, it's me, Phil. I know, I've been expecting you. Did you say Guy Fawkes? The very one. Do you know what happened to Guy Fawkes? He was hung, drawn and quartered. Not this Fawkes, boy. I have a royal assent. But Rothko, I'm talking about history. You can't change that, can you? You speak in riddles. I'm here for the same reason as you, boy. To find the Nidus to defeat Bellor. I also happen to be one Guido Fox. Well, you've chosen a pretty dangerous one to be. Ah, it is the danger that fascinates. But then I always cover my tracks just as these kegs are covered by faggots. And I have made a pact with King James. Assassination is an evil thing. It only replaces bad with bad. Or worse. King James wasn't a very good king. Well, that's how it looks in the history books. In this particular case, the alternatives are a bad king or anarchy, persecution and bloodshed, all those things upon which Bellor thrives. But enough of this. The Nidus is here somewhere, in this vault, beneath the very seat of Parliament. Then let's find it and get out of here. Patience, youth. We have all this to search and one more keg to come. Robert Catesby brings it on the hour. Do you have anything that reflects better than nothing. Do we have to search all of these? If we want to find the Nidus. Let's get started. Catesby? Your Majesty. I am majestic. You do well to believe it. I meant no harm, ma'am. I'm seeking the vault where fuel and victuals are stored. Indeed? On your guard, Catesby, you have been betrayed. Betrayed? I fail to grasp your meaning, Majesty. You have no knowledge of Fawkes, of course. Fawkes? So it is true. My warning is one you should heed. Fawkes plans treachery with the king. You are to be sacrificed while he escapes with his skin intact. Your Majesty, I cannot understand your warning me, and yet you know of the plot. Perhaps you will understand this. A plot against you. Ah, ah. What is this sorcery? Silent. Watch and mark well. Name the ringleader, or I'll have your neck. Catesby, sire. Robert Catesby. Ah, Catesby. I know the man. Does that convince you, Catesby? I'm sorely perplexed, ma'am. Do my powers frighten you? Are you... Are you a witch? Believe me, little worm. I could, if I so wished, send you to one of the four corners of the earth or make you squirm in the fires of hell. But it is not you I seek. It is your fellow conspirator, Fox. Then I'm indebted to you, ma'am. I swear my lifelong allegiance to you, Your Majesty. Be gone. I need no allegiance from such as you. Hasten to the shires and pray justice does not find you out. Bid you farewell, ma'am. Catesby? Yes, ma'am? You do not wish to encounter the King's guard, do you? No, ma'am. Take the other way. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Where's Phil? He promised he'd be here. Yeah, after five minutes, but we've been lost for ages. Do you, do you think he didn't wait for us? He probably found Rothko, found the Nidus and went home without us. Oh, don't say things like that. Oh, it's that bat again, Terry. 
Don't bother with this stupid thing. It's attacked me twice, Terry. Get rid of it. It won't hurt you, you know. I don't like it clawing at my hair. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, little ones. Keep running in the wrong direction. <laughs> Bello! That bat was Bello! Did you see how I... I shot at her? Yes, but where are we now? No near finding Phil or Rothko, are we? I know. Why don't we contact Rothko in the labyrinth? Maybe he could help us. Only two of us? We might as well try. OK. Rothko. Two of you were able to reach me. Rothko, we had to call you. We're lost and Bell's been tricking us. And you were unable to help yourselves? I did. Well, some magic. I shot a bolt at Bell. Ah, then you are close to the Nidus fragment. Can I work magic? Of course, if you believe in it sufficiently. Lad. Uh, don't make sparks. Are you sure the Nidus is here? No, that's why we're looking for it. And where could it be? In the rope, in the bung, in the keg even. Oh, it's hot in here. Yes, that makes it rather dangerous, doesn't it? But keep looking, we can't stop now. I'm a messenger of the Queen. State your credentials, Catesby. My business is privy to Her Majesty. I speak of it to her and none other. Now, let me go, or I'll see to it that you... Hold him, prisoner, Corporal. Where's your warrant? My warrant is the King's instruction. He knows all about your conspiracy, Catesby. Take him away. I demand to see the Queen. The next person you'll see is Guy Fawkes. Fawkes? How? Betrayed. I've been betrayed. This man is the ringleader of the conspiracy. Search all the cellars. Come. I cannot stay much longer. Now I must leave you. But why? Because it is time for you to make your own way. But Rothko... You have new powers. Believe in them. Use them wisely. Rothko! It's no good, he's gone. What do we do now? Use our new powers. You're the magician. Why not try some more of your magic? Yeah, but it was an accident before. But it worked. Oh, all right. You've got to try. You've got to mean it. I am trying. The traitor Catesby has been caught, my dear. Good. What of the other traitor, Fox? He will return to me for his reward. You are a fool to trust such a scoundrel, one who has betrayed his own friends. Are you sure he will not betray you? It is possible. Yet I have given my word that he will be given a just reward for his honesty and loyalty to the king. A prize at the end of a rope? And more, perhaps? It will be fitting, I assure you. Take care with that man, folks. He will not be so easy a victim as you may think. You speak as if you knew him. He and his kind are my eternal enemies. Then I will ponder on ways to rid the queen of her enemies. both try. But you 
heard what Rothko said. You've got to believe. I am really trying. <laughs> Rothko, it's you. Shh. I am Guy Fox in this time, child. Who? But you were hung drawn and quartered. Where have you two been? We got lost. Then we couldn't find you. It's no good. The Nidus is not here. It must be in the other keg. So we have to wait for Catesby to bring it. Catesby? Yes, Catesby. You know him? Yeah, he was arrested by the guards. Arrested? Certainly not on the King's orders. He's got the piece of Nidus. Then we'll have to go after him. It would not have been on his person. When you saw him, was he carrying something? A keg? No, I'm sure he wasn't. Then he must have been waylaid. <laughs> ah! You are trapped, Guy Fawkes, with your little friends. Bella. This time you will be dealt with, Rothko. Without the Nidus, Guy Fawkes will die a dreadful death! I told you, Rothko. So you all did, but I put my trust in the word of King James. Oh, you'll be a lot safer trusting the Nidus. Is, where is it? Catesby was empty-handed. Catesby. <laughs> Without the Nidus is feeble, Rothko. It is without effect. Hardly. Rothko, you're wasting your time. Wasting time? Outwitting the very mistress of conspiracy herself? I shall fight you to the end, Rothko. Rothko, look out. Hold! Hold in the name of the king. I act for the king. Witchcraft! Arrest the conspirators! <laughs> It's an Idus. I deny you! I claim the Nidus. <laughs> so you have been chosen, child. Then henceforth each piece will join the chain about your neck until the Nidus is complete. But there are four more pieces still to be found, and I shall deny them to you. I think not. You think you have won, Rothko, but you have blundered. By giving her that fragment, you have dispatched your own powers from this time. But, Rothko, what will you do without any magic? I need no magic, lad. The King of England has given me his word. Now go. Find the four pieces of the Nidus, wherever they be. Join hands. Go. But... Now go. We shall see if you escape the gallows, Guy Fawkes. <laughs> Good fellow, as I am a servant of the king, take me to him. We all serve the king, but you're being served at Tyburn. <laughs> <laughs> Most amusing, but I am a functionary of the crown. I demand to see the king. Oh, do you hear that, Corporal? He demands to see the king. Uh, laugh on, good fellows. Just give him word of my name. Oh, he's already heard your name, Fawkes. Your death warrant's already made out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The lesson for you, Guido Fox, is that treason will always be rewarded by treachery. Your Majesty. What is this? I am Rothko. Who, Steve? Help! You do well to grovel in terror. Your word is not that of a king. You betrayed me in this time. Who are you? Why do you haunt me? My name, sire, is Rothko. Rothko, I, I do not know you, and yet your face... Then call me Fox if you prefer. Fox? You think you have triumphed, but, sire, my quest in this time has been fruitful, but your reign will be a sickly and unhappy one. How dare you? This I dare. You see, sire, I am immortal. But you and your lady queen, you will both die in the end. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.